Hi, welcome to my channel, Takayaki Tarot. Today is April 3rd, 2023, 5.08 p.m. So before I get started, I want to remind anyone that's watching that these messages are not going to resonate with everyone and that's okay. If they resonate with you, because you clearly great. If it doesn't, don't force it to be your story, right? Um, that tends to be a habit. People will watch videos and even though it doesn't resonate, you want to comment and say it doesn't resonate. If it doesn't resonate, why are you telling me? Okay? So, aside from that, um, let me see. <sighs> I think I'm just going to jump into it. So, give me one second. Hold on. All right. All right, what's today? April 3rd. So technically it's the first Monday in April 2023. So we're pretty we're early in the month. Hold on one second. Um, let's see, what is on the schedule? Friday is, it's funny because um, Thursday is going to be a full moon, the 6th of April, 2023, and then the 7th of April is going to be, it's what's considered to be Good Friday, so those are back to back. Get one more. Hmm. We have self worth and reverse and playful. Three, four, five, forty four. So five, four, four. You guys could be seeing a lot of repeating numbers like um, 544, 511 right now, um, 614, things like, uh, not 614, like 644 or whatever like that. It's like um, there's one constant and then there's two repeats. So we have the first two cards that came out is self-worth in reverse and then we have playful, but it's upright. I feel like somebody's trying to play games with your self-worth. Like they're throwing, it's like they're trying to play games. Um, how do I explain this? Um, they're messing with magic, but they think it's like a game. It's like, I don't know, somebody's trying to play tricks. They're trying to play these tricks, trying to throw magic at you, trying to mess with your mind, your how you feel about yourself, how you... Love yourself. Um, uh, remember, there's a saying, how you love yourself is how you, you know, let the world treat you or something like that. I don't know. I just made that up. But um, That's what's going on. It's like somebody wants you to, it's like if you're going to have fun in life, have fun, but you better not love yourself, right? So you could be in this playful energy, having a good time in life, enjoying life. Um and you have like these, this energy or a karmic or whatever. And they're like, well, if you're going to have fun in life, fine, but you're not going to love yourself. It's, it's to, the, to them, it's going to be one or the other. Like you can't feel good about yourself and have a good time in life. Okay. You, you can't do both. You, you got, it's like it to them. It's like, you got to pick a happiness, right? But if that's, it's, it's, they want you to pick one thing. But you don't, the thing is, you don't have to. If you want to love yourself and have a good time in life, you can do that. You're able to do that. Like, that's that's something that you can do. Meditation in reverse. Yeah, um, just meditate more because they're really trying to throw magic at you. Trying to, like, uh, I feel like they're trying to swindle you out of your own self-love. They're trying to play tricks. This is a trick. 
this is what they're trying to do. They're just trying to mess with your self-love. Because if you're having a good time in life, you can't love yourself. If you love yourself, then you can't have a good time, right? You got to pick a happiness. That's how they feel. You know that saying, pick a struggle? To them, it's you got to pick a happiness. But that's that's the problem with them because you don't have to pick a happiness, right? They're really trying to do this. Hold on. So. But um, I don't really see it as working. This is really about um, how you love yourself. This is, the trick is, hold on. So the trick is for them to, hold on. It's 5.55 right now. Um, I feel like somebody wants you to feel like, a, a, like a, a forlorn, like loss, um, like heartbroken, like heartbreak. They want you to feel like, um, <sighs> this is so wicked, man. Oh my God. They just want you to feel like heartbroken. All right. So it's really because you're having a really good time in life right now. It's like if you're having a good time, you have you can't be happy. If you're going to be happy, then you can't have a good time. And that's the problem too because one, you can have both. You can have whatever you want collective, all right? That's like your grand right. You, you can have whatever you want, right? So the fact that this energy feels like that you can't, it's because they can't. So just ignore them, right? Um, aside from that, you're just somebody who's very pure. Um, you're, and it's funny because I literally just posted something today. I, I, what did I post? I said, fate is not easily challenged on my community boards. Um, I think that's what it was. Fate is not something that's easily challenged, right? And then we have here, this cat is surrounded by red ribbons, right? Red, like, you know, red string of fate. Whoever you are, whatever, if this resonates with you, there's like, you're just destined to have whatever you want. You're just destined, like, you're just like this pure, look at this kitten, right? Kittens are what? Adorable, pure, innocent, like babies, puppies, right? Baby animals, right? Animals are innocent, but baby animals and just babies in general, they're like the most innocent, the most pure thing. So you're just like this pure, innocent soul who's got like a binded fate which was like a lot of, that has to do with like, you could just have whatever you want. If you want to be happy, you can, if you want to have a good time, you can, if you want to be whatever you can. And there's this energy that they're really trying to like play dirty tricks, trying to throw magic at you. So that way you don't love yourself because to them, it's like, they can't stop you from having a good time in life. So if they can't stop that, then they're going to have to, the way they see it is they want to stop you from loving yourself because to them, it's, you got to pick a happiness because they can't, they don't, they don't even have happiness cups in front of them. They don't have like, do you want to be happy? Do you want to be successful? Do you want to love yourself? Do you want to, you collective can drink from all of them, whoever this is, whatever these things are, they can't even drink from a single cup. They don't have cups in front of them. knows what C G is comment that under my video all right the letter C and the letter G false person in reverse 
this person, whoever this is, they're just mad because like you're living in your authentic self. You're nothing about you is phony, fake, and disingenuous. Right? So it's like, how do I get this person to not have a good time? How do I get this person to not be authentic and real? How do I get this person to not love themselves? The, right now, this is their goal for you to have to, for you to not have self-love, self-worth, and all that stuff, right? I don't think it's working though. Um, I just see it as what they're trying to do. They're really just trying to play games when it comes to your the way you view yourself. Because the way you view yourself is how you present yourself. Which is like, you're just like, you're just this authentic being, right? It's like, if, if you're down in the depths, it's going to like cloud who you really are. And that's what they want. Because, you know, you're not a false person. They want you to be seen as a false person, but they got to get you down in the depths first. Something about like overshadowing you. It's like, they want to overshadow you. Marriage in reverse. A lot of you could... So, whoever this is, whatever's going on, their dirty trick, all right? Now, you could be asking, well, how would they get me to, you know, mess with my self-worth? How, how would they get me down to the depths, depths right? Um... It's kind of like they're trying to get you back in that place of your first traumatic event or your first heartbreak or your first breakup, whatever it was with marriage in reverse. It's like they're trying to get you to be in that emotional, mental, and spiritual state. That's what they're trying to like, I don't know get you in, pull you in. They're trying to um get you in that like feeling, all right? Cuz you know, um they feel like that's really going to mess with you um and it's going to like you know, uh overshadow who you really are, right? The way they see it as, "Oh, you're too genuine. You're too you're having too much fun in life. You love yourself too much." Right? It's like you're, you're, it's to you, collective, you're having a wonderful life. This energy, this person, they see it as you're too bright right now. So that's what they're doing. They're playing dirty tricks, dirty magic, playing with magic, trying to get you back into like, I keep hearing time zone, like a time zone. Like, uh, there was a time in your life where you were in like, <laughs> I don't mean to laugh, but it's just like really sick. Um, they're trying to get you like there's a time in your life where you had like a where you were like in the depths, right? They're trying to bring that back. Like they're trying to bring this state of, state of emotion. I don't think they're trying to like actually um, cause anything in your life right now to happen. But what they're trying to do is kind of like if they could go back in time and pull on that feeling. Right? That's why I keep hearing time zone. It's like they're trying to pull on an emotion from the past. For some of you, this could have been a heartbreak um, of a, a relationship. For, some, from, uh, for others of you, it could have been like the loss of a job, the loss of a parent, a child, condolences, right? The loss of a, a home, uh, whatever traumatic event. But with marriage here in reverse, uh, it's like a um a heartbreak right uh, <laughs> i say this all the time the most powerful and potent form of magic 1434 is love is love love is the closest thing we have to magic which is why everybody fights for it everybody goes crazy for it everybody is greedy and you know, it's so you're just like a walking embodiment of love. 
But they're trying to get you to be like, I don't know, they're trying to corrupt that right now. <laughs> Open, hold on. Okay, occupation in reverse. This is not. There's a lot of things going on right now with this occupation in reverse. Um, you gotta give me a minute because I'm trying to like sift through everything. With this occupation card in reverse, first of all, if you're aware of what this is, collective, it's not going to work, all right, because you're able to catch on. Second of all, um, with this heartbreak, it's like they want you to dwell on the fact that it did not work occupation working right it's like they want you to dwell on why it didn't work out why it didn't work it's like they want you to be in a constant state of despair of this trauma or this heartbreak and constantly ask why 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 right that's the energy this is what i'm talking about this is really dirty magic it really is it's like they're trying to pull on something from the past a very traumatic event and it's like you could be wondering like why is this coming up out of nowhere right why are you thinking this or feeling this or seeing this right out of nowhere and out of nowhere you're just asking why right well this is it because this person they're just like you're having too too much fun in life right now we got to bring you back down a couple notches so let's just throw in a chink right now right this is this is a chink right now that they're they just threw a rock in your um in your bike right or at least that's what they're trying to do they threw a rock in your bike hoping that you would just stop riding the bike and just would stand there and just ask why, right? Why all of a sudden after 20, 10, 5, 3, 4, 8, I don't know how many long years, now like you're just randomly thinking about this and asking why, right? When when like, I don't know, not too long ago, Collective, you were just literally having a great time in life and now you're just wondering why, right? This is the dirty magic. This is the dirty magic. It's like they want you to... Um, they want there's like a layer here they want you to be so caught up in this why 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 and then you just stop focusing on being your most authentic self and stop having a good time in life right Oh, that's what I was getting. Um, with this occupation card in reverse, um, whoever this person is, these people are, this thing is, whatever it is, they were working hard into making sure that this job, union, relationship, whatever, it would not work out. So that is a side note specifically for those that with the heartbreaking storyline, all right? The heartbreak storyline. It's like they were making sure that it just wouldn't work. I'm not getting anything in this deck. God, I just saw 1949. 
888 balance. Everything is falling into place as it should. All right. So everything is in balance in your life right now. Everything is tempered. Everything is going as it should. Everything is normal. Um, and that's what this person, these people, this thing, they don't like that, that you're just too happy all around, right? You're, you're happy with yourself. You're happy with your environment. You're happy with your image. You're just happy, 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 right? However, um, the 888 balance, everything is falling into place as it should. I know this is not something that the collective wants to hear, 232. But even this, this dirty magic that they're throwing, that's part of, like, the whole picture, too. I'm sorry to say that, but it is. It's, it's just, this is also something that's meant to happen, all right? Um, part of the plan, part of the plan. That's, that's what I'm hearing, it's part of the plan. Uh, a lot of cancer energy has been coming out in my reading. So we have cancer. So you could be a cancer. Somebody else could be a cancer. You could be a mother. Um, but a lot of this has to do with, like, your base, like, who you are. Like, your childhood, how you grew up, your home, your environment. It's like your environment it's, it's very stable. Everything's balanced out. This is part of your purpose came out, right? Uh, this, has, like, fourth house. Fourth house talks about, um, you know homemaker domestication a uh, stable environment home uh, a mother it's so crazy because this energy it's like somebody is really po'd at the fact that you're meant to have like stability and you're meant to have all the cups in the world somebody does it's like it really makes them upset it makes them mad somebody does not like that they don't like the fact that everything in your life is finally balanced out. So that's why I keep saying they're messing with dirty magic because they're trying to go, again, but with the whole time zone thing. Everything is balanced out in your life right now. So they're trying to go back in, like, time and pull on some, like, heartstrings, right? They're trying to pull on some traumatic event and have you wondering all up in your head, wondering why, 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 why? Not, it's crazy because they think that they think I don't want to they think that they're um, doing something different like they're doing something that hasn't been done before right that's what they think they think that they're thinking outside of the box when in reality everything is falling into place as it should even what they're doing even this dirty magic that they're doing that's part of the plan Right? Part of the plan. Part of the plan. I keep hearing that. Even though that they're doing this, that's also part of the plan. But they, they think that they're doing something different, something new. Right? We got the letter R. Somebody's first, last, middle, initial name of a word, replace. Ruins. Running. This person or these people, this thing... They're, they feel ruined by your balance. It's like your your balance is ruining them. It, it's making them wonky all over the place. This I'm telling you, this is the same message. It is repeating itself. And it's going to keep getting repeated. Because whoever this energy is, they don't want to understand. They're choosing to. They're like, they just don't want to hear it. But again, that is also part of the plan, right? That's also part of the plan. You being in balance is like ruining them. That's not your, that has nothing to do with you. Your fate and their, whoever this person's fate is, like, it's so crazy because for some reason, they think that their fate is attached to yours, but it's not. It's really not. <laughs> There's like, um, I've been seeing a lot of like red strings lately. This really has to do with like your purpose in life, your, your destiny. This is part of your purpose came out too. Um, I 
have goals and dreams. The, whatever goals and dreams you have, you're able to fulfill them and work towards and have them and live in them. And like you're, it's, you literally, you're meant to do whatever you want to do, right? And like, I don't know if I have to explain this, what I'm about to say, because that should already be like self-explanatory. But the fact is that when I say you can do whatever you want to do, that doesn't mean like anything negative, toxic or sinful or like breaking spiritual laws all right because there's always like there's lines there's boundaries all right so you can literally do whatever you want to do within those boundaries this person they can't do whatever they want to do even if they had those boundaries they can't do anything that they want to do right now they have there's no guidelines no boundaries all right and that's not a good thing it's a bad thing because they're not being guided by anything they're not being led by anything they don't have like a calling like you do to where you have certain guidelines where you have to follow. All right. That's self-explanatory, but I feel like I have to explain that. B. Burr. <laughs> Some, this person feels left out in the cold, which I cannot stress this enough. This person, they feel so entitled to your divine purpose. They feel like I keep, this person is like uh, five of pentacles. Like they're just cold. They are, they're left out in the cold. You, you abandon them. You walked away from them, right? Anyways, um, let me get a couple more cards, and then I'll jump into tarot, and then I'll close it. It's like somebody's hoping to get a different message, and it's not. <laughs> they think that they're doing something different, something unique, something creative, when in reality, this is just something that's been repeated. Something about the bathroom. The bathroom. <sighs> bathroom. Why? I don't know. The the bathroom is cold. The bathroom is cold and it hurts. What? I didn't listen to my intuition. Wow. So the bathroom is cold and it hurts. This person, they didn't listen to their intuition. They're left out in the cold. The bathroom is cold and it hurts. So this person, they don't like looking at their reflection in the mirror. It's like they don't like what they see. They just make me want to roll my eyes like all the time. Families that sleep together stick together. Family secrets. So you know whoever this person is these people are I just literally almost stuttered these are people in your family this could be a mother this could be your mom that was trying to like mess this could be somebody's mom could be trying to like pull on like traumatic strings in their life from the past trying to bring it up right now but they're not doing this alone so you got, this could be your mom, or this could be just a, a person that is a mom. doesn't have to be your mom specifically. But there is a mom in this mix that's working together with somebody in your family, or this mom is in your family. Whatever it is, there's people in your family working together because they don't like the fact that you're too well-rounded right now. They're like, okay, well, we got to do something. 
So it's like they're trying to they're trying to like band together. Like when was the collective's first heartbreak? When was the collective's first traumatic event? It's like they're trying to bring that stuff up and just have you like sit and mull it over and obsess over it and think about it. You got a group of people that's doing this just because they want you to stop doing what you're doing, which is being happy and, you know, being lovely and handsome and smart and beautiful and shining and just being all authentic with love. These people, they're not, they not—they didn't listen to their intuition. Yeah. Um... All right, so let me see something. I gotta, um, about the bathroom. Let me see, I feel like, uh, I'll just, I'll just do this deck. Hold on. All right. Um. So with this whole bathroom is cold and it hurts. I literally had to look up bathroom. Um. So the bathroom can represent feelings of privacy and personal space. In spiritual terms, um, bathrooms can represent a need for inner cleansing and spiritual renewal. It can also symbolize a spiritual journey or transformation. Dreams of bathroom interiors can be a reflection of our innermost fears and anxieties. And then I kept talking about how this person was in the Five of Pentacles. This person, they're all alone. They're, they're all alone in the world. Or they could feel that way. Um, it's cold and it hurts, right? It's... It's just dark and cold and damp. And it's like they're being consumed by that loneliness. And it's like they look at you. You're too happy. You're too fulfilled. You you have emotional stability, foundations, support. It's like to this person, you have everything and they have nothing. So to them, they don't think it's fair. So they're trying to like go back in time to where where you felt like you had nothing, right? But even though you did have everything... You felt like you had nothing. This person wants you to feel the same way that they feel right now. Um, but that's not your problem, collective, because that's, that's first, this is not working. It's not happening. And then for them, I didn't listen to my intuition. The more that they keep messing with this dirty magic, the more and more in depth of the despair that they are going to be. Like, essentially, they're just doing this to themselves now. All right. So, which is, again, unfortunately, like your balance is their ruin. They're doing this to themselves. Your balance is their ruin. And now they want to cry like it's cold and it hurts. It's cold and it hurts. Like all they have to do is just like go within themselves and clean up, right? They have to clean up their inner selves, right? Inner cleansing. They don't want to do that. So why should we care? I mean, why, like... <laughs> Three cups reversed. Nobody wants to be around this person. Nobody wants to party with them, hang out with them. Uh, I feel like <laughs> with the three cups reverse on, on top of families that sleep together, stick together. You've got people in your family that's gossiping about you right now. They're like really. It really has to do with the fact that you don't want to like be around them, party with them, hang out with them. So they're gossiping about this as if like. It's like. um. They will invite you to a party and you will decline it knowing that that environment is not good for you. It's like at this point, 
they will just invite you knowing that you will decline so that way they can talk about you, right? But, and it's like time after time, like you don't even talk to these people. You don't even go to their parties or events or you don't talk to them, whatever the case may be. But it's like at this point, they just invite you just so they can talk about you. Like they just do it to themselves. And then they want to be upset with you because it's like you're too... <laughs> You're too independent for them. It's like you, they see you as like, oh, he's too good for us or she's too good for us. Let's invite them so that way when they decline, we can talk about them. These are people in your family that do this. Like they deliberately, I also feel like they deliberately like have events and then they deliberately leave you out of it just so they can talk about you. It's like, let's throw this party and then not invite the collective and then talk about how the collective did not show up. Right. And it's like, that's so dumb because you're going to talk about the collective and you didn't even like, how would the collective know about your event if you don't even, you know what I mean? But that's irrelevant, really. It really is irrelevant because it doesn't matter. Um, there's like, um, I mean, there could be up to two to three people that are banding together, gossiping about you, but there is one person in particular that it's like, they're the ones that really feel left out in the cold from you. Um, So this thing is layered. This is a layered reading um, with their intentions. Because, by the way, here you are all the way at the top, right? So they're like, oh, they think that they're better than us. Yes, you are. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If that's what you think, then yes. All right. Like, if that's what you think, I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to. Like, why would you want to, like, fight somebody over their own thoughts? Like, if you want to think that I'm better than you, then okay. That's, you know, that's that's what you think, right? So let them think that. This person in particular, um, with the whole marriage in reverse, not only, so you have somebody that is trying to get you feel like in that despair state of feeling. Somebody's trying to get you to feel that way out of this group. Another person, they're, it's like, they're all for it because they're like competitive or they were competing against that love or, um, that. You just have somebody that's like always in competition with you. They're always trying to compete with you, right? They always want to like, um, my horse is better than your horse. Whatever you can do, I can do. I can do anything better than you. It's like there's a song. Anything you can do, I can do better. I can do anything better than you. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. It's like this person, it's like, who cares? Five of Swords. Uh, they're, this is somebody who's, they'll do anything to get whatever they want. And now they're all up in their head because they were doing this to get whatever they wanted. And now look, you know, it's their, their bathroom, like they're, they're just cold and it hurts. They're in a Five of Pentacles because they did not listen to their intuition. They didn't listen to their intuition. Right? This is somebody who was, they just wanted to do whatever they wanted to do because they were in like constant competition with you. Right? It's like you wanted to be in constant competition over somebody who's like, like this is somebody who was trying to like, how do I put this? Um, so let's say you are of a royal bloodline, right? And then you have this person who sells sunglasses at the mall and a kiosk, right? It's like that person is really trying to compete with, like, somebody who lives in a palace. Like, what? Who are you? <laughs> like, that's the best way I can put it, right? Like, you sell sunglasses at a kiosk at the mall and you're really trying to, like, be in competition with somebody of royal bloodline, <laughs> Like, that's why I don't understand why they're not, like, they're not trying to get the hint. Like, what you're doing is not working because it's, 
that's not it just is not like you have no business here you you're there goes the, the the red strings of fate again like the moon they've been this is something that was like done in the dark it's like these people been it together and started gossiping about you and wanted to compete um with you it's like they were smiling in your face but they were also secretly competing together so you have people in your family and your friends and your neighborhood and your environment and your job it could be up to three people it could be three women um i'm also seeing three uh two women and a man but you got these people banded together were gossiping about you how it's like also i feel like if you were like ever down in the depths it's like you had everything so it's like how dare you feel it's like they're like you're like somebody who's of noble bloodline and like if you have a sad day it's like they would get mad at that like why would you be sad you have everything right it's kind of like that and it's just like at the end of the day you're, you're entitled to your feelings whether or not you want to be happy or sad it's your business but they feel like you don't have a right to feel a certain way because you have certain things in your life meanwhile they're smiling in your face and trying to take those certain things in your life it's like they just didn't think that it was fair that you had everything the sun yeah they don't want you to be happy but the thing is you're going to be happy no matter what because that's part of your purpose they're just going to be miserable no matter what this was done in secret this trio these group of women these group of people this gossiping this competition this malicious attack i feel like three people banded together to um destroy a union in your life to get you to not be happy they destroyed a union in your life a union that was meant to be this union is going to resurface and also what they were doing what they've been doing dancing in the moonlight that's what i'm hearing now so they were whatever <laughs> that song dancing in the moonlight whatever magic that they were doing in the dark it could be dancing in the moonlight but that's being revealed as well their secrets are being revealed <laughs> uh, I think this is going to be the last card King of Wands in reverse. So somebody was not thinking. This is somebody that feels left out in the cold from you. This King of Wands in reverse. I feel like also, I'm also getting that they wanted you to be in like masculine player energy. So that way you wouldn't commit and you would sabotage like a union. Or they wanted your person to be like a player and not commit and sabotage um, the union with you. Either they wanted you to be in this energy or they had to they had to get somebody in this energy because they couldn't bear the thought of you being in this divine union, this group of people. It's like they, they couldn't. They, they couldn't. It's like I'm also hearing why you, why you, why him, why her. It's like, why out of like this group of people, were you the one that got to shine? Were you the one that got to be happy? Were you the one that had a purpose? So it's like, it's not fair. Um, This, I hate to say it, I really do. But this person's going to come back. The person that this group of people sabotaged. There was a union with this person. This group of people sabotaged it, right? Which was, a, 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 you know, again, part of the plan that was meant to happen because things were supposed to happen in between this time, 
right? It's all about time zones. Um, now that a certain thing has happened, there's going to be like a reunion. It's a reunion. This could be a Leo's, Aries, or a Sagittarius. Um, let me get one more card and then that's it. I just got a whiff of incense. I don't really use incense, but I just got a whiff of incense. Page of Pentacles in reverse. This person is eager to see you again. They want to reunite with you. They're eager. All right, so... Um, This is the reading. I hope it helps. I hope it gives you some sort of clarity, guidance. Um, if anybody needs a personal reading, uh, you can email me. All right. Bye.